Hello everybody, so today I want to quickly look at normals and particularly adding normals in Houdini. I'm starting off here with this basic box and the first thing to try to understand is what are normals? Well, normals are useful for a number of things in Houdini, but certainly if you've been in any other 3D applications, you'll find that you have normals automatically attached to your geometry and it helps with the shading. So, for example, if I was to turn on these face normals here, I can see that each face is pointing perpendicular to the direction of the face. So basically it points outwards, right? So I know that when it's shading this, it's going to shade these correctly and these edges will show me, uh, will show up as these, uh, show, displaying that these are flat faces, right? That's what you want in this particular case. It's a cube, right? So that's useful to us. Um, but let's go into our geometry spreadsheet. And I can see here that I've got my position, but I don't see any normals. Now, remember in the last lesson, normals are the at N, so it's a capital N attribute for normal, and we don't have any. That's because Houdini doesn't display or create normals by default. We have to do this manually. And let's check first of all at how this is going to work. So I'm going to go into my normal. I actually have a node called normal. Super. Okay, I add that. Nothing seems to have changed. Why? Because it's added it here to the vertices. Okay, I'm going to add it probably to the points. Okay, oh, that's changed something. Maybe let's not do that. Maybe let's add it to the primitives. Now notice that the normals are not here, but if I go into my primitives tab, there are my normals. And what it's done, it's calculated these normals exactly where these arrows are pointing or these lines are pointing, right? So this is perfect. And this would work, work very well in this particular case. However, you might notice that by default, it adds it to vertices. Now, this is a bit more tricky because you may be wondering what the vertices even are in Houdini. Now, let me display them. I'll hit the D key. I'll go into my... In fact, I can do it right here on markers. Markers, vertices, markers. Okay. And now it's popped up these three little circles. What in fact it's doing is create one vertices per corner. One there, one there, one there, one there. Just for that face. So if the face has four sides, it will have or four corners, it will have four vertices in each one in them corners. So that's why you see three dots there. There's one vertice for this face, there's another for this, there's another for this, just in this corner. Right. So when it's creating these here, it's creating them right on the vertices. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. And now let's turn on the vertices so we can see them. There we go. And you can see it's pointing in the direction of the face. Nice. Now, in most cases, when you're shading, vertices is the one that you will probably choose. It generally will give you the right look for your shading, generally. But of course, we've got other options here because maybe that's not quite what you want. Let me try points for a minute. So I go into points. All right. Now this is looking a little bit different. Hmm. Why is that? Well, this time my points have decided to average these three sides that we have here and it's averaging them and it's pointing out to the side now. And what it's doing, it's creating this different shading, isn't it? Interesting. All right. So we have a number of different options here. We have these vertices. We have these primitives. Uh, and we have points. Hmm. So in the next lesson, I want to look at the differences between these and why you would use one over the other in which particular cases. But for now, you know how to add these normals, so you're good to go. Any questions, comments or criticisms, leave them down below and you guys have a great day.